On this day at the Women's Training Center of Yaoundé 6, students and their guests are eating soy meat, a vegetable-based product. It was made on site by Marie Noel Abena, the director of the government-run vocational school. If a part of the population consumes plant-based meats produced from soy, it will contribute in our way to the fight against climate change. Scientists say the production of meat, especially beef, is a big driver of global warming. Cows produce methane, a potent greenhouse gas, and when forests are cleared to make way for grazing land, carbon dioxide is released into the air. To combat the problem, Abena decided to teach the manufacture of soy-based meat. It begins with clearing and washing the soy beans. Abena and the students create a soy paste and add ingredients like carrots and parsley and other vegetables. Through the process, students also learn about the nutritional benefits of plant-based meat. Learning how to make soy meat will allow me to help people who naturally do not eat animal meat. They will have an option, which is to eat soy meat, which is said to have several nutrients. The soy paste is left to rest for about an hour and can then be cooked like any other meat. Officials with the Ministry of Environment tout les bénéfices. Ce qui est important ici, c'est de limiter les émissions. C'est ça l'objectif final. What is important here is to limit emissions. This is one of the credos of the fight against climate change. It is necessary to make the comparison between what the meat production process brings in terms of carbon footprint and what soy, considered as an alternative, could also impact in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. Climate scientists say eating more plants and fewer animals is among the simplest, cheapest and most readily available ways for people to reduce their impact on the environment. As for the soy meat products, they have found an audience in Yaoundé. Until now, people have bought soya to make porridge for babies. Now, plant-based meat is becoming part of local eating habits. For Anne Zwanke in Yaoundé, Cameroon, Moki, Edwin Kinzaka, for VOA News.